guys, welcome to another pick a card. Uh, this is going to be a pick a card for how your person feels about you. So we have three piles today. Uh, we have um, pile number one with the purple amethyst. We have pile number two with the pink rose quartz heart. And then we have pile number three with the um, green adventuring. So choose which one resonates with you most. This is kind of where you use your own intuition to um, guide you towards the message that you uh, need to hear or um, with what resonates with you. Um, I am more active on Instagram, so make sure you guys are following me over there because I am going to do some polls of which types of pick a cards. So if you want to be incorporated in the weekly pick a cards of what the theme is for them, then make sure... Um, you check out my Instagram. The link for that's down in the description box. I will also put the timestamps for this down below as well. Um, and probably in the comment section as well. Okay, so take the time that you need right now. This is for how your person feels about you. So whatever one you're guided to, um, choose that one and then you can skip below uh, with the timestamp, okay? Okay. Hi, pile number one. Uh, welcome. If you chose this group, you chose the amethyst crystal. Um, so I have pre-pulled some oracle cards here. We're going to pull some tarot and some additional messages with um, or for how your person feels about you. Um, so let's kind of get started. Um, I pulled an archetype um, card oracle card <laughs> so um for you guys you got the heart kind of off the bat what i'm getting um with regards to your person and how they feel there's something they do have a lot of love for you but it's almost like it's complicated you know it's like i almost feel like this person has been closed off for a long time and you suddenly have kind of opened their heart um, there is a sense of like needing to do more healing from this person. Um, so I kind of feel like they've maybe come across as maybe a little bit non-committal. I feel like there's a part of you that knows that this person um, has feelings for you. Like I feel like I feel like you're very aware of that. but it's like why like well, then why can't they then why can't they commit kind of thing? Um, I do feel though that they have a lot of love for you, but I almost feel like it scares them a little bit. So let's see what your other cards are. We have number three, Time Machine. <clears throat> we have Detachment. It says you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. <clears throat> We have contract number six. We have second chakra number 36. And then we have healer of the ages number 51. So this also breaks down to a six. This is a nine, six, a three. I'm getting a lot of like, I've been doing a lot of readings. Um, and for some reason, three, six, and nine keep coming up. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, anyways, so I feel like you're kind of, your person kind of wishes they could go back in time. Um, I feel like they do, they do feel detached or they have detached from this situation, but I almost feel like they regret it. Again, there is a sense of needing to heal those old patterns within them. Um, they do feel a lot of attachment to you, but I almost feel like it was too much for them. Um, we have contract here, so you could have been in a relationship with this person, but I also feel like they, 
they want to be in a in a relationship or a commitment like they want to be connected to you in some more of a formal way however this person's eyes are blindfolded so it's almost like they I feel like their heart wants this but their mind is trying to pretend that it's not it's not a thing you know um Again, there's like this internal battle with this person. They do have a lot of passion for you as well with this second chakra. Um, so this is like around the belly button area. It's a lot of passion, uh, creativity, it's fertility, all those types of things. So it's very much that like kind of empress energy with the queen of wands as well. So it's very passionate. Um, some of you, I almost feel like if you weren't in a relationship with this person, they almost like wished that they could have created a relationship with you they wish they that they could have um done something different especially with that time machine um the healer of the ages i feel like again it's like needing to heal these attachments these wounds with the heart chakra because i feel like the heart chakra is big i feel like their second chakra is actually open i feel like they do have a lot of passion this person could have come in with just passion towards you and you know it's like now they wish they could go back in time and change that because that's not a true expression of how they really feel I do feel like this person does love you they do have a lot of love for you they do they have a lot of compassion for you as well I feel like you have compassion for this person as well but there's something here that is blocking this person um even though they do have a lot of love for you so let's get, um, I want to see what comes out for astrology cards to kind of get a little bit more of a gauge of what this person is feeling or how they're feeling. This is a timeless read. So whenever you come up across this card for this uh, reading, we have the eighth house of intimacy. So again, that like passion, they're very, um, they're very attracted to you, very attracted uh, so it's the eighth house intimacy. So the eighth house is um, like Scorpio. So investments, intensity, contracts, sex, erotic capital, secrets, mysteries, obsessions, inheritance, kundalini energy, stalking, the underworld. So this person very much pays attention to you. Um, again, there is something about a contract here, but I almost feel like they feel bound to you. Like there's some element of them that feels like they can't let you go. Um Again, they are very, they are very sexually drawn to you. They are very um, attracted to you. But I almost feel like that got in the way in the past. I feel like this person could be, um, they do almost have like a little bit of like a, a player energy. But I almost feel like you kind of changed this person of like their perception. I almost feel like, again, it's like that opening up the heart. They may usually detach from situations, but I feel like this relationship or, or your relationship they feel like they need to heal this to be able to come forward towards you um they also may feel or you may feel like this person kind of keeps secrets from you or there's like something about them that you know you just feel isn't expressed so we have trine which is flow so it says, harmonizes, aids, enriches, benefits, energizes, enjoys, eases, lubricates, gifts, rhymes, supports, and indulges. I feel like this person, they feel like things are easy with you, like things are things flow naturally with you. Um, and I feel like they... I feel like they want things to be in flow. Like they don't want things to be hard. And that's almost why they wish they could go back in time because <laughs> they need to heal this relationship. There's, there's something here that it's like they fucked up, you know, like they feel like, you know, it all, I screwed it up because this is a person who I would actually love and want to be with here with the heart. Bottom of the deck, we have perception. So this is third house energy. So this is like Gemini energy. Um, so this also is like communication, speech, thoughts, social media, um, 
excursions, sorry, <laughs> dating, siblings, research, street life, circulation, discussions, surroundings, and sociabilities. So again, this person is watching you. Um, this person, person has been, um, you know, watching you on social media, online somehow. Um, I do feel like this person has possibly been dating other people since you've been with them because I don't really feel like you guys are together. If you are, you're kind of like on a break. Like I, if you did have a relationship with this person, I feel like you're on a break from them. Um, but they are kind of like still going out into their social life. It's just that they keep thinking about you and I feel like they do want to communicate with you, but it's like they have to do more research. They really have to look into this a little bit more. And I, th I think it's because they really have to go within themselves to figure this out. So let's get some tarot. This is like a tarot slash oracle deck. So a little bit of both here. How does group one's person feel about them? How does group one's person feel about them? So we have nurture, which is like empress energy. How does group one's person feel about them? There is an element of this person feels like you're too good for them or like kind of like you have your shit together and they don't. And so they feel like there's almost like a part of them that feels that you should move on. We have number nine, seek, so this is the hermit. We have move, so this is the chariot. <clears throat> yeah, like this person almost wants you to move on. Because I feel like they feel like you're you're a lot more evolved than they are. Um, I also feel like this person, again, wants to come forward towards you here. We have base chakra. So this is your root chakra. We have feeling alone. We have sacral chakra again. So that's the second time that this has come up. So the, again, there's a lot of passion here, but this person feels very much alone. This person could have an overactive sacral chakra. Again, like if there's somebody who is like very sexually active, I feel like, I feel like they do that to detach, to avoid people and relationships. Um, but at the end of the day, it's left them feeling very alone. I feel like with regards to their relationships, they feel like the relationships in their life are very unstable. There's a need here with this base chakra for them to um, find some stability. I do think they want to grow stability here. Um, and they're kind of like going within. They're needing to seek, right? Like they're needing to go within and heal and... and um, heal this aspect of them that feels alone because I feel like there's a reason why they go externally all the time for um, attention, especially in this like sacral chakra. Again, there's like a need for them to move out of this energy is almost what I feel because I feel like they're in it too much. And then we have love at the um, as well. So this is um, the sixth or sorry, <laughs> this is the lovers. It's num a number six. So we have more synchronicities here. So we have um, five, six, seven, and we have one, two, and three, another three, another six, another nine. So a lot of synchronicities here. Um, bottom of this deck, we have challenging times. So this is the number five. So I do feel like they are wanting to change or there is change here, but I almost feel like... Um, it, there's a again there's a struggle I, I kind of feel like there's a part of this person that hasn't yet gone within like they've they've been feeling alone and I think they're acknowledging things right now but again they, there's this feeling that this person feels like you are better than them like you deserve better than them you deserve somebody who's willing to move towards you here with this move card again there is a very strong bond here between you and this person with the lovers here and I feel like they know this um, and they feel this but there's a part of them that feels alone as well and or feels like they need to be alone um, especially with the hermit and the feeling alone like those are both very isolated energies um, and I think that they need to 
This person needs to um, go within, be alone so that they can expand and they can grow so that they can move. They can move forward in a relationship and towards you. This person has a lot of um, regrets here. This person has a lot of regrets with how they've handled the situation between you and them. Um, I feel like their heart expands for you. Like they, they do, like they feel this energy, but it almost scares them. They do see you as somebody that, you know, is worthy of a connection or somebody who could be that mother, that father, you know, that counterpart to them. Like they do feel like you have like your, your wife material, your, you know, your husband material, that sort of thing. Like you have that energy about you, but it's almost like they feel like they're not there yet. And so you feel, you could even feel alone, right? You, you might feel alone. And I feel like the two of you are kind of doing this like separate work, but it's going to allow you two to come together. Now outcomes change, right? Because, um, we all have free will, <laughs> but, um, I feel like the both of you have your own stuff to do and, you know, that's, what's going to, once you both can kind of heal those aspects of yourself, that's going to allow you two to come together. Um, okay. So let's see, cause I want to see, um, I want to see what's blocking this person. So they have these feelings for you and they feel this love and this connection to you, but what's blocking group one's person from them? What is blocking group one's person? What is blocking group one's person? <laughs> so we have the hanged man. <laughs> So yes, they feel stuck for sure. What else is blocking them? I also feel like their mindset, like their outlook on things is almost too what's blocking them. Because again, there's like this energy of them feeling like you deserve better. Uh, you know, that I'm not good enough for you because I'm involved in whatever. Um, and what's blocking them is like their perception on even themselves, right? Now we did have, interesting. So we have the tower, the hermit, and the three of cups here. So again, there is like with the hermit and the three of cups, it's like they're in this hermit mode. They're isolating themselves. Um, and that's what's blocking them from coming forward because we do have the tower here. So this person, I feel they really do want to come towards you. But again, they haven't shifted that per perception yet with the hanged man. And they feel stuck, right? Because they're still in this hermit mode. They're, they haven't really come out of that energy with this hermit mode. They're close, I feel, with this person standing on the edge here. I feel like they're close to coming back and reconciling with you guys with this three of cups. Again, they do enjoy their time with you. They have a lot of love for you. Um, but yeah, there's like this hermit energy is like, they almost feel too, again, like the tower, like they messed things up so badly. Like the hermit is looking over at the tower, right? Cause the hermit's facing this way. They're kind of looking at this and saying like, I already royally screwed things up, you know, like how do I, how do I fix this? Can I fix this? Right. And so I think that they, what's blocking them is a little bit of their, them feeling like they've already destroyed everything and that you maybe won't take them back. Right. But again, it's a little bit of their own perception as to, um, it's a little bit of their own perception on this situation. They have to kind of look at things from the other perspective, like I can rebuild this, right? But as of right now, they're just looking at it all falling to the floor, okay? 
bottom of the deck we have the three of pentacles yeah what they're not seeing and what's blocking them is what they think that they can't rebuild this but they're not even really trying they're kind of just sitting there saying i can't rebuild it you know so they feel they feel a little bit like hopeless and helpless um at this moment so what is um and i feel like they are struggling with this challenging times i feel like they're struggling they kind of have their guard up a little bit here um yeah, six of wands. I do feel like they can be victorious, again, if they choose to. This is like, I think, the five of swords, this challenging times, maybe. I can't remember. Um, and so if they could get out of their head, I feel like they could have success. So let's see what um, their actions are going to be. What are the actions um, of group one's person going to be towards them? What are the actions... A group one's person. We have the nine of cups. We have the page of wands. And we have the magician. So again, I do feel like there's this element of communication, right? Which I had kind of mentioned with that third house there. I feel like they do want to communicate to you like, you know, you're, you're everything they've ever dreamed of. You know, they... I don't know. It depends how romantic they are, but internally <laughs> they feel like you're everything they've dreamed of. Again, there's this passionate beginning here. So I would be cautious though, of this person coming back around and being, you know, a little bit more like, uh, again, of that energy, that sexual energy, that like self-fulfilling energy. Um, because the ma magician can be a little bit manipulative as well, which we have here. Um, so just be cautious of them. Like, still being detached and kind of toying with your emotions. I do feel like there is love underneath the surface, but this person, if they cannot get out of their patterns, is going to just keep repeating the same thing over and over again. Um, so just make sure that their intention, when they communicate, um, I feel like you have manifested and they have manifested this coming back together. I do see communication. I don't really see action right the page of wands is all about communication but there's no real progress forward there's more of like a hoping and a wishing that this can move forward um bottom of the deck we have the lovers yeah so this person again they want to come back around they may be expressing to you that they you know they love you and you know they're sorry and blah 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 i don't really see an apology as much as i see like i screwed things up um how can i fix this you know, you are my wish fulfillment, you are everything that I've wanted, you know, how do we move forward here? Um, so I kind of see more of just communication. What is the outcome between, actually, let's get a, let's get a couple of these messages here to see what else this person wants to say. So this is kind of my own created deck. <laughs> with cue cards here that is way too many so let's get a couple uh they're based on the tarot that i've come up with thing like sayings almost so let's see what what this person wants to say so what does group one's person want to say about how they feel towards group one what does this person <clears throat> what does group one's person yeah, you are the one for me, the lovers again. So that's the third time the lovers has come out. <laughs> so again, there's this strong um, pull that this person has towards you. Um, they, they feel this connection too. So don't be questioning that. Um, what else does this person want to say? So 10 of cups, I'm so happy when I'm with you. Yes, so this person very much enjoys their time with you. We have the page of cups. Please accept my apology. So I did just mention that about them possibly wanting to apologize to you. Um, I do feel like there's communication, but I almost feel like it's also very hard for them to, um, to physically apologize, like to actually apologize. So they might kind of like <laughs> try to talk otherwise, like communicate otherwise with like the passion, that sort of thing. Uh, we have the Knight, the Queen, and the King of Cups. So this deck doesn't shuffle shuffle overly well. But again, a lot of love, which I was getting that regardless, right? Um, Knight of Cups, we have I Adore You. 
Queen of Cups, I have so much love for you. And then King of Cups, I have a hard time expressing my feelings. Yeah, so this person has all of these emotions underneath the surface, right? They have all these emotions that just sit here underneath, but they, ha they can't express it. They have such a hard time expressing themselves. Bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Swords. I'm sorry I've kept things from you. So again, that feeling that pe they're keeping something from you, I feel like it's their emotions. It's how they really feel. And because they only, you know, they only come forward with the passion, it makes you question whether they even have feelings for you. Um, and so I feel like they do. It's just um, <laughs> they, they have a hard time expressing it. They have to heal their heart. They have to open up their heart. I feel like their heart chakra is very blocked. So outcome between the two of you. What is the outcome between pile one and their person? What is this outcome going to be? Again, the outcomes change, right? Based off of free will. Okay, so we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So there is a sense of being quiet. Um, I feel like you guys are in silence right now. I do feel like with the outcome here, we have the eight of wands, the ace of wands, and the three of wands. So again, that very... <laughs> Very passionate energy. Um, this person is going to communicate. I feel like they are going to want to communicate and come forward here towards you with the Eight of Wands. Ace of Wands, again, that passionate new beginning. So just be cautious, right? Because you might be left waiting for this person with the Three of Wands. And when I say left waiting, I mean like waiting for commitment. Um, make sure that this person is not just coming in with all this passion. And then again, it's like you're still in the same spot that you were before. Um, you have and you are manifesting this person back into your life, right? There will be communication here, which obviously if you're watching this, you in some aspect of your life want communication from this person. Um, but I feel like this person will be coming in towards you and there will be communication and there will be kind of this like new beginning. It's just a matter of like, what is that new beginning, right? Um, and I think that that's a little bit of that three of wands as well. It's like, okay, well, where do we go from here? Right now we've, we're communicating, we're talking, but now what? Right. So I feel like your person and you are not communicating currently, or it's very little. So if that's not your situation, then maybe check out another reading. Um, but I do feel like if this person can, I feel like regardless person's going to come around and talk, but I feel like this person does need to open themselves up and express them their love in order for this to work. Otherwise, I feel like it's going to stay in this like passionate energy um, and it's going to be really hard. But I feel like this person does ha feel this strong connection towards you, but they wish they, they can change things. There is a strong feeling that they feel like they've already screwed things up. And so if they feel that way, they might just always come back for this passion, but they're like, well, they're not going to want a relationship with me anyway, right? So there's like an element of that. So there is a need for you guys to kind of communicate a little bit more emotionally, um, kind of like moving forward. And if this person's not ready to open up and to do that, then I mean, that's your decision where you have to figure out like, where am I going? What am I doing? Right. Um, so that is what I have for you. Pile number one. Hopefully that resonated for you guys. Let me know down below. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well, because I am posting more readings over there. And as well, um, I'm going to be doing some polls about what types of pick a cards people want to see. Um, so if you want to be involved in that, make sure you give me a follow over there. Okay. So I hope you guys have a um, wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi, group two. Welcome. This is your pile. If you chose the uh, pink quartz um, heart. So if you chose the quartz heart, this is your reading for how your person feels about you. I've pulled some cards and we're going to pull some more, um, more about how your person feels. So let's get into it. Um, I pulled an archetype. So we have the queen. So I feel like this person sees you as their queen. Um, I also feel like they, they see you as somebody who doesn't settle like you have very high standards but in a good way um and i think that there's a little bit of like this they put you almost like on a pedestal a little bit 
um, they feel like you deserve so much. Um, this is like the Empress energy. So it's very much like you're very abundant. You Things just come towards you and you accept things that are for your higher good. Um, and I think that this person feels like um, you're very abundant. You've got a lot going on. You know, you're very beautiful. You deserve everything. You deserve the world, essentially. Um, so this person sees you as their queen. You could be a male or female. doesn't matter. It's just kind of the, the energy there. So we have number 24, let it go. Bottom of the deck, we have cause and effect. So it says, you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change in the foundation of your results. We have number 34, door to personal healing and happiness. We have number 31, door to value. And we have number eight, indecision. <laughs> So again, I do feel like this person sees you as very abundant. They see you as somebody very, um, like they see your value. Um, I feel like they, they feel like you have so much going for you. But I also get this energy of they feel like they have to let you go or they're indecisive about walking through this doorway with you with this door to value or letting things go. Um, I kind of feel like this person, this person sees you as their happiness. There is a sense of them needing to heal their heart. Um, there's something about their, their actions and like the, what their actions give them, like the cause and effect of their actions. Um, it's almost too like, this is kind of why, where they're at a crossroads a little bit with this indecision is like the cause and effect. Like, okay, well, if I do this, then this will happen. If I do that, then this will happen. Like they're very up in their head. Um, I feel like there is an element of letting something go and I feel like it's because they see they see your value. I'm not sure what that's about. Let's see. We're going to get some astrology here. Oh, I did have this actually for pile number 1. So 8th house intimacy. What else does group 2 need to know about how their person feels? Group two, how their person feels. So we have Pisces, Sagittarius for signs. So the mystic and the voyager. And then we have the second house of assets and the eighth house of intimacy. Um, so you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Sag, a Scorpio, or... Um, a Taurus. There's a, a need for this person. It's almost like they want to be free. Um, so the eighth house of intimacy is investments, intensity, contracts, sex, erotic capital, sex, secrets, mysteries, obsessions, inheritance, kundalini energy, stalking the underworld. So this person does have a lot of passion for you. Um, they are very like connected to you. They feel very connected to you. But there is an element of like transformation as well. Um, it's almost like they're going through a bit of like an awakening or you're, they're opening themselves up to something. I do feel though, that, however, that they're very focused on their material world, um, especially with this door to value. They may be very focused on their status even. Um, the second house of assets says material world, possessions, finance, talent, values, solidity, worthiness, wardrobe, luxuries, credit score, security, and athletic aesthetics. So this person's very um, concerned about what they look like or how they are, or who they are in the world. Um, they may need to let that go, right? Because this is sitting right underneath let it go. 
there may be a need that this person has to let go. Like maybe they're very superficial or maybe they're very um, shallow in how they kind of perceive people in the world. Um, they may have this like high standard that you like maybe they feel like they need their queen like there's like this like um element of them you know kind of not, not accepting anything less than their queen right um we have pisces and sagittarius so sagittarius is the voyager pisces is the mystic um so the Sagittarius card says enthusiastic, philosophical, independent, generous, ethical, seeking, happy-go-lucky, adventurous, honest, bareback, unbridled, un exper uh, exper experiential, oh, Jesus, uh, lucky, boundless, traveling, risk-taking, tactless, self-righteous. So again, there's a little bit of like an ego with this person. Um, and then in the Pisces card, we have imaginative, compassionate, healing, empathetic, mystical, Adoring, magical, allowing, dreamy, empirical, enigmatic, spiritual, emotional, escapist, escapist, impractical, oceanic, self-pitying, illogical. So there's kind of like this, like this person can be a little, almost like a little arrogant. I feel like there's, again, there's like this element of status and like self-righteousness with this person. But at the same time, they're kind of just like, it's like they're always in a good mood, but they're also kind of avoiding things. It's like they're in a good mood because they're they're escaping from things. Um, I feel like they're kind of, a, they're not very spiritually bound. Like they're kind of, they're not grounded. They're like all up in their all up in their space and their head and all this other stuff. Bottom of the deck, we have sun, which is being. So it says essence, energy, self-awareness, life force, spirit, creativity, honor, masculinity, distinction, childish, childish, childishness, ego, individuality, solitude, expression, self-sufficiency, shine, heartbeat, and father. So again, this person has an element of like being a little bit egotistical um, focused, I feel on money, which is maybe why this didn't, um, you know, you're kind of asking about this person. Cause I feel like, I feel like you can see the potential in them, like, um, but they do need to kind of like heal some elements within them. There's a need for them to like, kind of look at themselves. There's like a, a very materialistic aspect about this person but they are indecisive about something. They may, you know what, they may have these, you know, this ego about them, but then they sit there and they see you and they're like, oh no, like she's, she's higher level than I am. You know, like it's almost like they see you and they feel almost inadequate. Um, and so they may try to avoid because they feel like they can't they can't give you this right normally they're the the head honcho but really it's you and so um i feel like there may be an element of you that kind of puts them in their place a little bit and so that makes them question this connection okay so we have strengthening bonds number one so what else, how else does pile number two's person feel about them? We have refusing to see. Yeah. The, again, this like escapism, right? Like this person's trying to like avoid this. Tell me more about group two's person and how they feel about them. How does group two's person feel about them? We have reach out, number three. Group two's person, how do they feel about them? Choose your battles. We have trust and nurture. 
So which is the fool and the empress. Bottom of the deck, we have helpless and hopeless, number eight. <laughs> so this person is all over the freaking place. Um, there is a connection strengthening between the two of you. I feel like you're you're very aware of this person. This person's in, their, in your life. Like, I feel like you interact with this person. But there's an element of them trying to... It's like they're trying to avoid seeing the fact that this bond continues to grow between the two of you. Now, I do feel like they're going to reach out to you. Um, but I feel like kind of currently they're in this place of, like, denial. <laughs> I don't... I, again, I just, I'm not really sure why. I think you kind of, um, I think there's a part of you that makes this person have to go within and really look at themselves. Um, with the reach out card, I do feel like they're going to want to reach out to you. Um, and there's almost an element of them acknowledging this, refusing to see, like, okay, you're right kind of thing so maybe you've brought it up to this person that like hey don't you realize that there's something happening between us or they maybe rejected you in some aspect um sorry um they may have like rejected you in some aspect but you're not really giving up on that but at the same time I feel like you're this queen energy like you are somebody who is like not settling for less than what you deserve which I feel is almost this like choose your battles it's like I'm not going to, you know, sit here and try to fight for somebody who doesn't want to strengthen something with me, right? This person sees this, like, moving towards you as a little bit of a risk, but it is something that I feel can grow. It's just that you have to take the risk in order to see it grow. Um, this person sees you, again, there's this, like, empress energy. We have the empress here essentially twice, and so this person sees you as that empress energy and they feel like it's risky. Like they feel like they're the ones that's the fool, right? They feel like the fool here. They do have to kind of trust that this will all work out. They're like as confident as this person may seem to you. They have a lot of demons. Um, and I feel like they do kind of need to kind of go through this transformation Again, with this indecision, it's like they can't really decide. They know they want you, but then there's the decision of like moving towards you, which is like a whole other kind of element. And so it's like they want to reach out to you, but there's a part of them that also refuses to see the fact that there is a strong connection here between the two of you. I think maybe you let this person go. Like there's an element that you were just like, okay, well, if you're not going to put the effort in, then like, you know, then that's my cue <laughs> kind of thing. So let's see, what else does group two's person, how do they feel about them? What else do we need to know? So we have the queen of swords. How does group two's person feel about them? How does group two's person feel about them? I feel like they kind of see you as detached a little bit, and I think that that's this like letting go energy with the queen of swords. Like I feel like they think that you've detached from the situation. Maybe you don't care. Um, there's like a matter of factness about your energy. Um, we have the five of pentacles. So yeah, this person may feel kind of alone, abandoned um, from this situation. And, and maybe it, it, again, it's like, it could have taken you walking away from this person for them to realize like, oh shit, you know, like I do want this, but I was refusing to see my true feelings for this person because my ego was so high, you know, and then they kind of questioned this relationship. 
We have the Four of Cups. So yeah, they, they feel like they missed an opportunity here with you. So regardless of whether you did cut this person or, off or not, um, I feel like you've been very stern with this person. You've very clearly expressed what it is that you want or what it is that you're looking for. And I feel like this person now feels like they've missed an opportunity here. They feel like they've, um, especially with the Five of Pentacles, like it, they'd feel like they screwed up, right? Um, because they were refusing to look at something. I also feel like this person has abandonment wounds. And so what they do is they go for people who are not on their level, like people who are beneath them um, energetically. And that it's like they always know they're going to conquer. And then you come into their life and you're like, no, I call the shots. And this person is like, okay, this person, you know, this person got it going on like this person like knows what's up and they're not falling for my games and you know it's like they feel like they've lost out because you are somebody who very much stands in your power and communicates very clearly you're opening up a door for this person to heal themselves to really look at themselves because I don't think they've felt this way before and then we have temperance here at the bottom of the deck so this person um, this person really feels like things have been out of balance. This is that Sagittarius energy again. I feel like there's an element that they need to kind of like rein themselves in. They need to kind of balance out their emotions, right? Because like I said, they're very kind of up in the air, like they're kind of all over the place. And so there's a need for them to kind of ground their energy. And so it's kind of like alchemizing themselves. They need to kind of bring themselves back, um, back down to earth. Um, but again, that's going to take time. And I think it took this like rejection or this feeling of missing an opportunity here with you in order for them to, um, feel like, okay, I need to like figure this out. I need to start doing some healing here. Bottom of the deck, we have the hanged man's. Yeah. So things are kind of stuck right now. Things aren't really going anywhere. Um, I feel like you were very clear and very, um, direct with, your thoughts on this and um this person now it's like things are kind of just in limbo they're needing to kind of like shift their perception shift their their energy here in order to kind of make things work so i feel like their block here i want to see what is the block here for group two's person i feel like their block is that is their ego seven of wands. Yeah. So they got their walls up. That's their block. Their block is that their walls are up, um, because they're not seeing this for what it really is. Right. And therefore they're going to miss an opportunity or they did miss an opportunity. King of wands. Yeah. They, their ego got the best of them. So what is the, um, what actions is this, is group two's person going to take towards them? What actions is group two's person going to take towards them? What actions? Now, this is timeless. Um, so these, this can kind of change, right? All these, all these elements. What actions is group two's person going to take? Five of cups, page of cups. They're going to say they're sorry. Um, they're going to apologize and they're going to talk about, I think they regret a lot from the situation with the five of cups there. And they do have feelings, right? Like they are sad. Um, I think that they may give you some small expression of their feeling here with the Page of Cups. It's not going to be anything major, but it's a step in the right direction. Um, but there is a timid energy here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. It's, it's almost like they're waiting for the right time to do so. Um, so you may still have to wait a little bit <laughs> for this person to kind of um, express themselves. So what messages does group two's person want to say to them about how they feel? What messages? I created this, so just bear with me here. What messages does group two's person? So we have high priestess. I want to listen to the, I want to listen this time. So you may have like briefly stopped talking to this person or the communication may have kind of like come a little short here. I feel like maybe ever since you kind of stood up to this person with the Queen of Swords, but I feel like 
again, I feel like this is their ego, like backing down their ego um, to be able to kind of make this work with the high priestess there. We have the ace of cups. I want to express my love to you. So yeah, there is some sort of like, I think they are going to come back around or they want to come back around again. Like that's a little bit of this like page of cups. I think it might kind of start as something small, but they do want to tell you how they really feel. And even if they, that might be just how they feel, like they want to tell you, it's just a matter of whether they can get the courage to, to do that, right? We have uh, judgment. I have learned from my past mistakes. So yeah, they've realized kind of what, what went wrong here. We have world. You are my world. Remember I said that in the beginning? They want to offer you the world or they, they feel you deserve the world. I think I said that with you guys. Um, they see you in such a different light than what they have seen other people. Like they have so much respect um, and admiration for you. Um, and then we have the King of Wands. I have so much passion and desire for you. So again, that King of Wands energy did come out um, with that Seven of Wands. And so they do have very strong feelings for you. They're very attracted to you. They've, they realize they've screwed up. And they see, they see you as somebody who they could live with, like, you know, for like, you know, they would want to commit to, but I think there's just a little bit of fear and ego. So what is the outcome here? Oh, actually, I didn't get the bottom of the deck message. So we have you shine so bright, the sun, whoops. So we have the sun, we shine so bright. Sorry, my battery is dying. So this person sees you as somebody who just like, again, just has so much potential. You're, you're just, you light up the room. You're not, you're not like anyone else they've met. So what is the outcome? Now this can change, right? With free will. What is the outcome between pile two and their person? What is the outcome here? What is the outcome here between pile two and their person? Seven of Swords. Ten of Swords. What is the outcome here? Justice. Okay, I'm going to take that one. Just because it was stuck in my hand here. The Hanged Man. Let's get one more here. For the outcome. Okay, we got a couple there. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords that first kind of fell out. This person uh, or this outcome between the two of you, I feel like the deception, the holding back, um, the lack of clarity or the like kind of um, escapism <laughs> that this person is is um, prone to the ego, especially that's going to be ending. This person's going through a little bit of an ego death. And I think that they, it's, it, this is very challenging for them. It's very hard for them. Um, but it is happening. And I think what that does is it allows justice, um, to be brought back into the situation. There's good karma here. That's going to come out of this person being able to heal, um, this part of them, I feel like that's kind of what they're needing to go through in order for this to grow and to manifest. So when this person does this, this healing work, now this person has free will. So if they choose to not do the healing work, then this kind of doesn't, doesn't play a part. But, um, when they do this, it brings justice. It brings karmic justice to the situation, allows things to balance out and restart. With the hanged man, I feel like this is because they're still going through this healing process. So things are still kind of hung up, right? So until this person is able to fully heal themselves and look at things from a different perspective, that's going to kind of keep them stuck. Once they can see something from a different perspective, Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, that's when they are going to come forward here. They're going to have a, a um, love to offer you. And they're going to... Um, I feel like they're going to want to try. They're going to want to invest. They're going to want to um, 
put the work in. Um, I think they're hoping as well that you wait for them because I, I do see them being the Knight of Cups and you are the Queen. And so you don't accept Knights. You only accept Queens or sorry, well, maybe Queens and Kings, right? So you want someone on your level. Um, and so I feel like this person knows that they're not quite there yet, but they don't want to lose you, right? And so they're, they're, whatever they have to offer you, whatever they can offer you is what they're going to try. And I think it's just they're hoping that you'll work with them here with the Seven of Pentacles. They hope that you'll wait for them to be ready. Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Again, it's all about change, right? Again, more of that Sagittarius energy. So this person definitely could have Sagittarius in their chart or you could. Um, but things are going to change. And if as long as change happens, I feel like it's inevitable that change happens because I feel like this person is learning a lot from this situation. So whether you move on from them or you guys end up together, I feel like this person is going to be learning a lot or has learned a lot. Um, but again, it's like, like that good karma. So when they go through this change, Jupiter is going to bring in blessings towards you and this person and this connection. So as long as this person does the work on themselves and can actually open their heart up to you, they have to really let go of their ego. Um, because I do see them very materially focused. Um, and so they need to kind of open up that element, um, kind of let that go and open up their heart. Um, and put down the ego. So that is what I have for you, group two. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, as well, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. All that information is down in the description box. Um, I am going to start doing some polls for pick a cards. Um, so if you want to be a part of that, of like which ones I end up doing each week, then make sure you guys follow me on there. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope this resonated and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi, group three. Welcome to your pick a card. Um, this is for how your person feels. So if you chose this pile, you chose the green adventuring crystal. So um, I've pre-pulled some cards here. Um, and then we're going to pull some others um, as well. So let's kind of get into it. Um, the first card, I pulled a um, archetype card for you guys. So we have the Pilgrim. Um, I feel like this person, um, there's a sense of like, they're a little bit hard to tie down. Um, kind of like this person wanders a little bit. They kind of, um, they don't really like conventional things. They, they like to kind of be spontaneous. And I feel like, um, this person could also teach you this. Um, I feel like there's a part of them that inspires you to be, um, not as rigid in kind of how you are, but this person may feel seem to you like they struggle with commitment, but I don't really know if it's the struggle of commitment or if it's um, more so just that they have a, like a, a bit of a free spirit, this person. We have feeling the world, number 13. Yeah, I feel like this person just wants to experience the world. They want to have a lot of life experiences. We have ownership. So it says you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. I, yeah, I just get this person wants to have a lot of experiences. Um, I feel like they want to travel. They want to do a lot of different things. It's like they don't really want to be tied down in a conventional relationship. Not that they wouldn't want a relationship. It's just that the um, you know, the typical, like, get married, buy a house, have kids, that kind of is it, is kind of where I feel this person doesn't necessarily, they'd rather travel, learn a lot of different things. I feel like they're very spiritual as well. We have community. We have blossoming abundance. So number seven, number three. And then we have number 52, Goddess of the Moon. So 
this person really does, they're very social. Um, I think they do see you, there's like, the, there's this very strong element of not being able to um, tie this person down. <laughs> they're very spiritual, definitely. Um, I feel like you could also feel, or this person also feels that there's a strong tie um, to you and this person. I feel like they do think it can grow between the two of you with this moon, um, goddess of the moon and blossoming abundance. They may also see you as somebody who's very spiritual. Um, they do want to grow with you. The pilgrim can also be about growth, learning. I feel like they, again, I feel like they want to learn more about you. You want to learn more about them. And I almost feel like they're some sort of a teacher for you. So if you're somebody who's a little bit more kind of rigid in your ways. I feel like this person kind of helps bring you out of that. Let's get some astrology here for more about group three's person. Can you tell me more about group three's person and how they feel? So we have Neptune, which is dreams. Neptunian energy is also very, um, kind of all over the place a little bit. Um, it says, imagination, memories, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, ideals, universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, and magic. Um, yeah, this person's definitely very spiritual. It's I'm, What I'm almost getting, I know this is supposed to be how they feel, but what I'm almost getting is like you have a hard time... Um, kind of identifying this person like um again it's like it, they're hard to put a finger on it's like they're they're hard to kind of like track down or like keep in one spot like they're always moving um they're very much in love with life you may also connect to this person in uh your dreams this person has a lot of dreams and aspirations about, like, the world. They may work in the community. Like, they may do something that is um, kind of, like, for the people. We have second house of assets. So it says material world, possessions, finance, talent, sol uh, values, solidity, worthiness, wardrobe, luxuries, credit, store, credit score, security, and aesth aesthetics. Um... I kind of feel like this is like everything they're not. Now they could have um, a Capricorn, or sorry, not a Capricorn, a Taurus placement here with the second house as well. That could be in your chart even. Um, I almost feel like this is more your energy. Like they may view you as somebody who's a little bit more rigid, um, somebody who's a little bit more fixated on the um, kind of the 3D, whereas they're in like the ethers. <laughs> They're kind of like out in space um, doing whatever they kind of want. There is an energy, like there's very spiritual people. I think they kind of want to, um, they want to see you blossom into this um, spiritual person. I feel like they see it within you. This is a very interesting um, energy. It's very different than the other two um, piles. Bottom of the deck here, we have conjunction. So this is empowerment. So combines with, enhances, strengthens, joins forces, activates, intensifies, authorizes, allies with, con concentrates, saturates, overrides, and overwhelms. Okay, so I feel like you and this person have this very strong spiritual connection. They feel it, and I feel like they're trying to like bring you along with them. They really want you to enjoy this as well. It's like they want you to become a part of their spiritual community. You may meet this person in a spiritual um, function, but I almost feel like they kind of like awaken you a little bit. Um, if some of you haven't met this person, you've only met them in your dreams, but I do feel like you could possibly meet them in the community or at some sort of like spiritual function or something with regards to like the spiritual world. 
this person does kind of come off a little bit like self-focused or kind of like in their own world like they're kind of just like a little all over the place but I feel like they've done a lot of growth and I feel like I think they might trigger you or they're wanting you to kind of um, also do a lot of this work. So how does group three's person feel about them? Can you tell me about group three and their person? How does their person feel about them? Group three. How does their person feel about them? How does their person feel about them? Group three, how does their person feel? Okay, so the first cards we have is master number 15. So this would be like the devil energy. Um, this person I feel has... Um, They've mastered their emotions, like they, they really very much have control over their heart. Um, I feel like there's an element here, it's interesting because then we have the dreams coming true, so the nine of cups. This person has really uh, worked on themselves, they've really kind of leveled themselves up with the nine of cups. Um, they've reached a place where they're very happy in their life. They've really um, kind of mastered this. But I feel like um, to you, they may seem like this person is a little bit distant. Again, there's like almost like, I don't, I don't want to say selfishness because I feel like that's not what it is. But it's almost like sometimes you wonder if this person really even sees you. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if they... It's not even like they talk about themselves a lot. It's more of just that they sometimes don't always seem like they're on planet Earth, like they're a little bit out of it. And I think that that's just because they're, they don't have these kind of 3D focuses. Um, those aren't important to them. They're very much in that spiritual realm. They're kind of like in that 5D energy. Um, now they may feel like this could be reversed. They may see you as this. So you could maybe be a teacher to this person of how to master their emotions. You know, they may see you as well as like a master manifester. So this could be reversed where this person may not be spiritual, but you are, um, which would make sense, obviously, if you're watching this. And so, um... I feel like they see you as somebody who's very spiritual. They they love how you interact with the people around you, with this community. Um, there's almost an element of like nothing phases you. Um, I feel like this person uh, thinks about you a lot. I feel like they dream about you. Whether they know you or not, it's like they have, they kind of like imagine what things would be like with you. It's a very deep connection. Um, we have clarity of belief. So this is the Ace of Swords. This person... Um, <laughs> If they don't know anything, they definitely know that they have feelings for you. I feel like they, if, again, it's like if they're sure about one thing, they're sure about you. They um, may seem like somebody who, because now I'm kind of picking up that you're the spiritual one, and I feel like you're leveling this person up. Uh, I think there's almost like a, they're, they're having to learn a lot from you with, with this pilgrim. Like, I feel like um, you're kind of showing them a whole new world. Um, and they feel like you're their dream come true. I feel like they maybe kind of keep their emotions to themselves, though. They, you, you might not see this, but they're very sure of them with the clarity of belief. Um, if you're wondering if they have feelings for you, they do with that Ace of Swords. We have success and growth. So again, I feel like this person does want to have success with you here. Um, they do want this relationship to move forward. 
that's too many. Tell me more about group three's person and how they feel. How does group three's person feel? Yeah, we have the heart chakra. Yeah, you're like their wish come true when it comes to a relationship here with it being right underneath here. Their heart opens for you. Like you've opened them up. They maybe have been really good about holding back emotions in the past. And now it's like they're being forced to kind of open that energy up. I think they know they have to if they want to have success with you. We have the sacral chakra. So lots of passion here. Uh, I feel like this person definitely is very sexually attracted to you. But it's not just sexual. Like they do have a lot of love and emotion here for you. We have manifest. So again, there's that magician energy, that master manifester. Um, they want to have success with you. They feel a very strong bond to you. And they do want to create something with you. We have control number eight. So this is the strength card. Again, there's like this whole, it's taking a lot for them to open up to you, possibly, but also to control their emotions. I feel like their emotions for you are so strong. Um, they're trying to contain it, but it's like they can't because they, they do want this so bad. They definitely are very drawn to you. And we have um, the lovers here, the number six. Um, so again, this person knows that you are their soulmate. They know that, um, you and them are meant to be together. I'm also getting like this energy of they feel like you've met, like you've met before. Like they have that energy of like, we've known each other before. Like I was, I was meant for you and you were meant for me in this lifetime. Um, the bottom of the deck here, we have opportunity beckons number four. I feel like this person may come out of nowhere. I don't really know if you've met this person yet. But I, I, that to me doesn't make any sense for and how, how this person feels about you. If someone is watching this and you're not speaking with a person, like the person who you came here to listen to this about and you're not speaking and you're not on good terms with that person... I feel like there's a new opportunity coming in for you that I feel like is this person. For most of you, though, it's like, I feel like there's an opportunity here for you to grow. There is kind of like a cyclical energy as well that I'm picking up on, like a cycle that you're in with this person. If you're, if, okay, so if this is a person who you have maybe been dealing with for a while, what I'm getting is that there could have been some karmic here of like somebody keeping their heart kind of stuck with the devil here, this devil energy. I feel like you're showing them a whole new world. It's like they're finally opening up to this idea. You've taught them a lot here. And so it goes from the devil, this kind of caged energy, this restricted energy that isn't being expressed or being let out. Um, it's like they can no longer control their feelings for you anymore. And then we end up with the lovers, which is the same as the devil, but the uncaged, right? It's like it's the light version of love instead of the dark version of love, if that makes any sense. So because they both break down to a six. So I feel like you could be starting a new cycle with this person and that could be this opportunity. I feel like this is going to kind of reach a new level. Like if you, this was a relationship, I feel it was very 3D. It was very like, you know, we date, we have a, we get, have, get married, we do this. It's very like structured. And that's maybe what somebody wanted here. But now it's kind of hit this like Neptunian energy of like, you know, very ethereal and spiritual and, um, kind of magical like there's just like I don't know one of you has very much evolved um one of you has very much evolved in this situation and it's kind of like opening up a whole new world for this this other person very interesting message this community card always reminds me of the three of cups so again there could be a, like it's like a reunion right something's coming back around here 
And I feel like it's going to grow, but it's in a more spiritual direction. There's been a lot of lessons learned with that ownership card there. So let's see. Can we get more about how a group three's person feels about them? Can you tell me more about how group three's person feels? We have death in reverse, so they don't want this to end. Again, I feel like it's a little bit of like a go around. So maybe that opportunity beckoning is like this new opportunity with this person. I feel like it almost feels brand new or like you haven't met this person because I feel like the situation is completely different. Like it's totally changed. We have the Knight of Wands. So yeah, they're, they don't want this to end. So they are going to be coming in. So um, if you haven't been talking to this person, I feel like they're going to come in towards you. If you have been talking to this person, I feel like they're going to communicate something with you. They're going to express something to you. It could be like this change of heart, this like about this, their heart space, like how they really feel. So maybe they'll tell you like they love you or something like that. Um, tell me more about how this person feels for group three. Ten of swords, seven of swords. Um, they feel like they've kind of held back and it's been really hard for them. It's It hasn't been easy for them to do so. Um, yeah, with the four of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So they've really kind of held back and kind of kept things internal. They also might not have told you how much they've maybe struggled to hide their feelings from you. I feel like they felt at one point it was for their best interest, but now they're realizing that it needs to end. But it's almost like really hard for them to express with that Ten of Swords, it's kind of what I'm getting with that. I feel like that's possibly a little bit of their block. Let's see, what is uh, Group Three's person's block? What is the block here? Queen of Swords, yeah, it's, it's the communication part. Um, again, I feel like they possibly have had a hard time communicating, but now they don't want things to end. They want things to grow. They want things to move forward. Um, and so they realize with this manifest, it's like they have to take control of this situation and really express how they feel. But it's almost a block for them because it's so challenging. Bottom of the deck, three of cups. I mentioned the three of cups energy before. Um, they do want to come back around and I feel like they want to clearly express how they feel. And it's it's how they feel from the heart space. They might come in very passionate, but I feel like it's it's passion because they ha they're realizing how much feeling they actually have for you. And I feel like it's coming up passionate because they've tried to control it for so long that when they express it, it just like, it's like word vomit. Like it just like, they can't hold it back anymore. It's almost like they've lost the control of hiding their emotions because they have such strong um, dreams and wishes to be with you. Okay, so let's see. What is the actions that group three's person is going to take towards them. What are the actions? What are the actions group three's person will take towards them? What are the actions? Ace of wands, yeah. There's that passion. And like very quick, passionate energy. Tell me more about how group three's person, what actions they're going to take. What is group three's person, what actions are they going to take? Group three's person. Anything more with this ace of wands? There we go. So ace of wands, queen of wands, and then we have the page of cups, and it's kind of like this. <laughs> so it's more in reverse uh, than it is anything else. We have the Knight of Swords. So again, very quick energy here. I do still feel like there might be a lack of clarity of how they feel. Like you might feel like there's a lack of clarity of how this person, um, excuse me, is expressing themselves. But they are coming in with a lot of passion. So you're going to know they're, they're definitely interested, right? Because there's a lot of passion here. They see you as somebody very attracted. They're very attracted to you. Um... And again, they don't want things to end. So they're kind of like rushing, right? Especially with this Knight of Swords, they're rushing in here. Um, because again, they don't want things to end with the world here. Judgment coming back around, right? 
So even if you are in communication with this person or, you know, you're in a relationship with this person, they're rushing back in because they don't want this relationship to end. Like they don't want you to leave. Um, I think they're worried a little bit. But again, they might struggle with like the apology or they might struggle with the heart, heartfelt communication. Um, I feel like that is really hard and challenging for them here with the Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. They might kind of still hold that back. Um, tell me about this Page of Cups reverse here in their actions. Clarify this Page of Cups here in reverse for their actions. Tell me more about this Page of Cups here. Page of Cups in reverse, please, for group three. Thank you. <laughs> the Three of Cups again. So we have the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the King of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. So they know they can't wait on this. Um... I feel like, again, there is this, like, I they can't stop thinking about you. With this Four of Cups, Three of Cups, like, the Four of Cups is always somebody who's focused on the other Three Cups. They cannot stop thinking about you. They cannot move on to something new because they keep thinking about you. Um, but with that being said, like, they do worry that they're going to miss an opportunity with you. And maybe that's why they come rushing in because they feel like they have missed the opportunity. That could be why the Page of Cups is in reverse is because that fourth cup, they feel like they've missed it. They've missed the boat. Um, so I do feel like there's definitely a strong, like, reconciliation type of an energy. And again, like, if you're already with this person, they, <laughs> they're rushing in because they don't want things to end, right? Um, with the King of Swords and the Page of Swords, they definitely want to communicate. I feel like they've been watching you for a while or kind of thinking about this, maybe trying to learn a little bit more about this situation, doing their research. I feel like also really diving in their mental space. Um, and I feel like once they hit this King of Swords energy, that's when they're going to be able to come forward and communicate very clearly what it is that they want. Um, I do feel like there's distance between you and this person with the two of wands here. Like, I feel like there's some sort of a separation. You guys aren't in the same space. And so that could be this rushing energy in, like they could be traveling to come see you, especially with that knight of wands, but they definitely want to communicate, um, to you. So what other messages, like, what do they want to say to group three regarding their feelings? How they feel. What is group three's person? Seven of cups. I am emotionally overwhelmed. Bear with my deck here. I've made it. So <laughs> it's made out of cute cards. So they're emotionally overwhelmed. Again, they need that clarity, right? Uh, that's a lot here. Hold on. These kind of fall out in chunks. So, okay. What does group three's person want to say? We have Queen of Cups. I have so much love for you. So they have so much love, it's overwhelming. Like they almost like, they don't know what to do with it. Again, they've tried to hold it back, but they just can't anymore. I feel like it's almost like it's just a, a pouring out of them at this point. Page of Wands, I'm excited for our future. Yeah, they they definitely want to come in and communicate with that Page of Wands energy. And they, they want to move forward. They want to move forward. They want to have success and growth. Uh, King of Wands, I have so much passion and desire for you. So again, that King and Queen of Wands here, there's a lot of fire, um, a lot of desire, sexual energy here with this person. Bottom of the deck, we have Five of Wands. Am I good enough for you? So this person questions whether they're on your level. I feel like you're so evolved spiritually, especially, that they feel like they have to kind of catch up. Um, especially, um, emotionally as well, like communicating how they feel that also is a bit of a burden for this person. So I feel like they question whether there's like an underlying, am I good enough? They've learned, they see you as a teacher. They've learned so much from you. You've shown them a whole new world, um, especially when it comes to specifically love. Right. And so, um, they're questioning whether they're on your level. So what is the outcome? Now the outcome can change. We all have free, rule, free will. We have 10 of cups. 
that's a good outcome. Um, happiness, joy, happy family, happy, happy life, soulmate energy, right? So coming together in a union. Anything else for the outcome between group three and their person? Outcome for group three and their person. Judgment. So yeah, that reconciliation energy. And having to choose, like needing to choose. There is like a, there's definitely a divine energy here with this, the ten of cups, like that soulmate energy and the judgment. It's like this person feels called towards you. Again, they feel like they've known you before or they've known you in another life. They're very like mesmerized, but they you've been a teacher for this person. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Chariot. Yeah. They want to offer you love. They have a lot of love for you. They also um, want to start something stable here with this Page of Pentacles. Like they want to grow. They want to learn. They want to learn how to love. Um, and I feel like that's going to bring them forward towards you because they're ready for this. They do want to have, again, that success, that victory. Um, I feel like they're, there's a little bit of like a charming cheeky energy to this person um but they're definitely mo moving towards opening up their heart space they're learning a lot about their heart and that um their heart chakra bottom of the deck we have the knight of pentacles so it might take this person a little while to kind of so like evolve but they're willing to put in the work they're willing to dedicate the time and the effort that it takes to get to their destination this person's determined to have success and achievement with you they don't show up too much as the king. And so I think they're kind of still in there. Like they have the king of swords here, but it's also beside the page. So I kind of feel like there's this evolving energy. Um, they're definitely getting to a space where they have more clarity. Um, but again, their heart space, they're, they're not fully able to... I, f I see them being able to eventually offer you love. But right now they feel like they've missed an opportunity with you. Um, but I feel like this person is so determined to put the effort in that they will be back around because they want to be back around, if that makes any sense. So that is what I have for you, group three. Hopefully that helped for you. Uh, let me know down below. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well. I am posting more on there and, um, I'm also going to be doing polls and stuff to see which type of pick of cards people want to see. Um, so if you want to be a part of that, make sure you follow me and the info information for that is down below. But yeah, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.